Hey everyone, let's get some messages for April 2022. This is the second, uh, and these are global collective messages. What is going on for the collective today? So these readings I'm finding are pretty good, I would say, energetically over 24 hours. So hopefully they're helpful to someone. So please God, clear, concise messages. Thank you, amen. Number three, so what's going on for the global collective? What's the energy? What's the situation today for the collective? Current situation. Okay, oh, we have some tower energy here showing up. Uh, so that's a major arcana card, Aries ruled, and then we have it paired here with the two of pentacles and the knight of cups. All right, so let's get into the energy of each of these cards. So this is the situation, this is the story that it's being told, right? Um, the two of pentacles really talks about the balance between two worlds. It can be, this is a love reading for you, for example, or a relationship. This could be about dropping one of your balls here, dropping something being found out about that. If you're, something's on the sly, maybe something being found out, or um, having to make a decision here, but definitely something coming to an end, um, <clears throat> or a major upset here where you've been trying to balance these two worlds. It could be about an investment as well. But the Two of Pentacles is really talking about um, either living a double life or it can be about really just burning the candle at both ends, really having too much on your hands right now and trying to balance two worlds. Um, we'll see what the rest of the reading has to say about in terms of what's being juggled here necessarily, but we do have in the center of the situation is a cups card. So we have our feelings, we have our emotions, our psychic energy. So we have some Pisces energy indicated here, or any water sign. Um, but this is really uh, having to come to terms with something maybe, and then the tower is generally speaking something that has completely has to fall apart. And whether it's almost like the tower comes in after an, um, a natural death isn't present. So something that hadn't put been put away or something, maybe you didn't make a decision here or you something's going to be decided for you because something may be removed here or just something's forced here in terms of, and it could be about, like I said, two lives uh, with the Cups card. Generally speaking, with the Knight of Cups, we have this romantic energy, uh, and it could be creativity if it isn't a love reading for you, um, but generally we have this romantic energy, poetic energy. Um, the arts have been featuring a lot, especially with the Empress showing up, so I would say like there could be arts here involved. There could be you know creativity that involves emotions, right? So... And then with the Two of Pentacles and the Tower mirroring each other uh, with this in the center, uh, with this, you know, this could be someone who is also, I find, <laughs> they're having to choose a side. Maybe, like I said, a decision is being made for them. I, it, you know, it could be a health situation here as well because we do have the Pentacles, which is, you know, your physical body. It's the physical, practical world of things, right? And it is money. So let's see what your thoughts are about the situation. But uh, yeah, very interesting situation, Collective. All right, what's going on? What are your thoughts? You are the other person's thoughts about the situation. A decision may be being made. May be being made. Wow. For someone here. Um, 
Someone with, and this is very, this is full of emotions, deep emotions here. So the thoughts about the situation, so now we have a king of cups, so now we have Scorpio energy, or any water male sign now, I would say. There's possibly two males in the picture, or if this is the same person, this could be you or someone around you. But uh, definitely someone who is deep. <laughs> this is someone who is, in terms of thinking, so again, we see cups in our thinking space a lot here. So this is an emotional place for you to be mentally. Uh, it's getting you to think about your feelings or how deep does something go. Um, there is this sense of, and I was going to say that there could be a sense of drink here. Um, someone having to, if there was a health crisis, it could be around health. It could have to do with drink, possibly drugs. <clears throat> Not necessarily um, any other facet of addiction here, but I would just say with cups, we have that sense of, you know, dreaminess, right? So with the Knight of Cups here, there's that sense of dreaminess, it's poetic. And then with the King of Cups here and your thoughts about the situation is, and maybe that's what it is here. Maybe that's the thought about the situation is, no, uh, the leveling up needs to go from dreamy to actually forcing this into action because Scorpio especially is, you know, it's eighth house, it's um, sex, death, and rebirth. There is this sense of, and I was saying this yesterday as well, this sense of transformation. It's like coming toward the new you or developing the new you, becoming more comfortable here in your emotions, especially mentally speaking. So this is either hyper awareness of your deep emotional world um, or actually leveling up because like I said, something's going to be removed here. Something that was on the balance or trying to be, mm, yeah, burning at both ends, so to speak. And it is taking on too much. It could be just taking on too much and it could just be simply input, output, uh, uh, input, output, where, <laughs> No matter what you earn, no matter what you bring in, no matter what your resources, it just, it goes back out. You don't really, it, there's so much flow here. So there's something that isn't necessarily standing still. So uh, yeah, so it could be something about your emotions in general or your feelings. But like I said, that dreamy poetic side, but the thoughts about it come from a very deep place here. You or someone else in this reading. And for the purposes of today's reading, the situation will always be the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Tower. So what are your feelings about the current situation? You are the other person's feelings about the current situation. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords. This is definitely keeping someone up at night. This is usually speaking really heavy energy. The swords are fairly, you know, in all fairness, probably the most difficult suit in the tarot. So this one is a lot of sleepless nights. It's anxiety. It's, uh, it could be about where to sleep. It could be even be about dreams. Like just, you can't get this person off your mind. You can't get the situation. This is now in your heart space. And that's what I was saying even yesterday, but there's this swords energy in this feelings about the situation. So the feelings about the situation for you are very daunting. If this is something being found out, it is no wonder you would be Mm, or something being removed or taken away. And it could be uh, about an opportunity as well. Let's say hmm, you were offered an opportunity here and, and you, you know, with the king, we also have that great mature perspective, right? That desired leadership. So it could be that if something was tried to take from you uh, without you knowing and it's sort of, you know that you are capable of this and pulling through. This could be business, relationship, whatever this is for you. Um, but in your heart space, there's this sense of real, actual. And I think you could be keeping it to yourself because this is deep emotion. This is um, real protective mode. This is scorpion energy, right? So this is like 
uh, and by that I just mean there's a shell. So, you know, if something is found out here or something, or if you are worried about something in one, some way or another, they're in your heart space, you are definitely panicked about it. And um, it's causing a lot, a lot of anxiety and you could be keeping it to yourself. Okay, so let's see the most probable outcome. Wow, all right, well this is nice. We have the sun here. Okay, we have the moon as well. Okie dokie, so we have some more major arcana here. Not as many in the, than in the last few readings, um, but these are cool. We have three major arcanas in your entire reading here. I'll go through the signs at the very end. Uh, that's probably a better way to go through it in terms of the majors. But um, yeah, most probable outcome here. We have five cards showing up. We have the sun and the moon. So <laughs> something definitely being brought to light. This is a lot of uh, sort of um, <clears throat> either shining a light on this in your own world or pulling through and having um, someone else notice it. So the sun shines on you no matter what, so someone sees it. So with the moon in the center of this outcome, there are <laughs> a great deal of shadows and doubts and illusions here. There's just a great deal of fear, right? But with the sun showing up, like I said, here beside the king of swords, no less. So I think we, we're seeing double kings lately um, this is business opportunities. So this could very well be a business uh, decision for you. If it's not, it could be three different males. You could be dealing with an air sign here, Aquarius. But 11th house is indicated here as well. So there is, there's a sternness. There's a fix. These are both, there's just a lot of fixed energy. Something is really important. So even in your thinking about the situation, it's very important. Um, so Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Moon, King of Swords, and the Sun here. So Ten of Wands, what is what is story is this telling here that a hardship is going to be brought to light? Um, and it is, and we were talking about Dark Knight of the Soul the other day too with the Eight of Cups showing up. So I really feel like there's this energy of... Being able to be stern with yourself here, stern with yourself or a situation. Ten of Wands is an ending. Um, I would also even indicate if this is a love reading for you, it's, and it's really saying this here in the tower as well, if this is like the sun opposite of the Ten of Wands, because the Ten of Wands has that such, it's, Essentially, in a love reading, it can be considered like that lusty card. It's like, oh my god, this loads and loads and loads, right? Like, it's just, and it's love and it's passion and it's just like it's a heavy burden, but it's also an ending. So, this is coming to light. So, this burden, so it could have, ha it could have been a burden to somebody. So, maybe it's like, on the one hand, it was a burden because if it wasn't revealed or you didn't have both, en both ends of the candle burning or... And then the other way, it's just the same. Like, it was almost like it was going to keep you up at night anyway. So, but you were expecting this. Um, you could be expecting, I would say, or you're, or you're doing this, right? Um, something to come to light here, especially about someone's burden. Um particularly when it has to do with, say, justice or when it has to do with groups of people, also institutions uh, and uh, the mental sphere. So anything having to do with the mind, it's extreme intelligence. And it's very curt. <laughs> it's cold energy. <clears throat> and then you have that whole story surrounding this moon, right? This shadowy moon, this place of cinema and the asylum and sheer uh, fears and shadows and doubts. <clears throat> and again, we have some of that shell energy. So I mentioned the scorpion here for the purposes of its shell. Um, you know, it has that shell quality and there's that here as well. So there could just be more. So we have um, more watery energy here. So there's something <laughs> definitely hidden under the surface here. It is either being called to come to light 
or someone's expecting it, it'll be revealed here. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So no matter what is going on really around it, it looks like even this revelation, even if it's, even if it's to yourself, even if it's something that you need to figure out for yourself, it's still a really positive event here. But I would also say that something that was once hidden is now going to come to the light with the sun and the moon showing up, not only in the same reading, but in the same uh, position. <laughs> so here for the outcome. So something is definitely going to come to light. It's going to be revealed somehow. Let's look at the external energy, internal, and then overall energy. Okay, wow. All right, so external energy here. So we just have a lot of people involved. This could be, so we have more Scorpio energy here. Pisces Leo energy here and what have we got for more majors that looks like it's it but the four of swords uh, death card and the five of wands yeah I mean this could just be simply um, like a business reading or a job competition of some sort but something's going to be over here because this is a rest period and this is the competition this is you leveling up as well Either way, whether it's a competition with yourself or a leveling up, um, there's a major transformation here, a total transformation. And it's almost like it's, and because there's a, there's a sun here, there is a birth here. This could just be a practical birth. This could be the difference between, you know, um, this could be labor, you know, if someone's actually in labor or whatever, because the moon is about the woman, even though. It's about the female, right? It's feminine energy. The sun is male energy. So there could be an actual birth. Um, something couldn't have gone as planned here necessarily, right? But yeah, with the transformation, it could just be that something, something needed to be, something was handled. Whether it was a crisis here, whether it was you're all by yourself, or whoever this reading is for, <laughs> or whether it's you and another person, or or you're flipping the story and it's them with you, it's like there was a competition here. But the cool thing about the four, five of wands is that it, you get to level up, right? You do yourself a favor, even though it's a pain in the butt at the time, because this is good for you. So, and because there's a an ending to it, it means that it's over. So something's being transformed here. And I would say because it's in the external energy, there's this sense of, um, like it's a total transformation. It's going to transform everything uh, about the situation. So again, with this total transformation card, this total sudden upset card, and it's funny because I was like, well, it's not like we see the death card because you see, when you see that, you know something's coming. It's almost like the process. It's like process of death, a total transformation. So whatever is actually the most probable outcome here is a permanent, uh, say, transformation that you expected, but it's almost like something, the current situation just calls for a little bit of like, oh, maybe you weren't expecting that. So... And then here with your um, internal energy or internal focus or subconscious energies, the nine of wands, page of cups, and the seven of swords. I think we saw the seven recently as well. So yeah, more cups energy. So here we have this ener um, super sensitive energy, uh, feelings, <laughs> emotions. This could be a proposal. This is a love language. So all of the males in the cups energy are being featured. So all ages here as well. So let's talk about the nine of wands. This is wounded soldier energy. This is the kind of energy that you feel like, what do I have to do to, uh, you know, make this message clear. And then this is strategy in this situation, but it could be deception. So just watch out for this energy that you or someone else isn't utilizing some sort of, you know, and it could be almost like in your thoughts again with this, you want to come from a deep place maybe because in your thoughts, it's really deep or it means a lot to you or the transformation is, um, is going to be revealed anyway. 
so you maybe you want to be in charge of this somehow so it's like well what do I do to make this stick so yeah with the seven of swords like I said it's tricky energy it's deception um, but it could be just thoughts about it. it doesn't necessarily mean people are talking we don't have the five of swords here which is nice if that were the case I'd say definitely people are gossiping but with the seven of swords yeah just watch out for that watch out that you're not fooling yourself or someone else but it could simply mean strategy here what is it you know how do you get closer to yourself how do you offer yourself that self-love if this isn't um a love reading for you uh and in terms of relationships and romance it's like you could just be a you could be at a new place here and in, internally for yourself where you want to make this grow you know this is possible to take this little page and level up because you're the situation here is that you're already sensitive it's being there's a sensitivity here that's showing up a lot right very sensitive so again it could just be about getting to know a new part of you and it could be about uh i find um swords can be just be old programming okay this could just be old voices okay stuff on repeat stuff you were told when you were a kid stuff you used to believe stuff like that so you could just be guarding yourself against that and just trying to listen to the higher more say emotionally evolved and available part of yourself or within a relationship so overall energy is the seven of pentacles looking right at this Wish card 1111 with the four, the foundational four of wands. So really nice. This is definitely affecting a home or a partnership of some sort. There is this sort of watching and waiting here with the seven of pentacles. We now have two sevens if that's important to you. Um, in terms of other duplicates, I don't see that we have them. Um, we also have two fours. If I already didn't say that. <laughs> uh, two fours, two sevens. And do we, no. All right, and then, so Seven of Pentacles. This is watchful waiting. This is really slow moving energy. So waiting for something to come to fruition here, something to happen here in the home or pacing yourself with regard to perhaps even the next steps for the happy home, pulling this ideal partnership together making your wishes come true, your dreams come true. Be aware that you don't, there's no over interference here in a practical way, like just maybe leave well enough alone when it comes to home front, uh, in terms of a practical home base right here. But yeah, you're definitely, if any investment has been made here, things are starting to pay off just slowly. Maybe don't buy or sell at this time if that's a question for you today, but big transformation no matter what okay current situation includes the tower so huge overhaul the cool thing about something that can be as shocking as the tower for the situation however is that look generally speaking it wasn't built on solid ground anyway so something that's being released or something that's being removed is generally it may even um work out better in the long run here so i would say Try to be gentle with yourself at this time if you're going through something that you feel is difficult, especially if it feels like some conflict and we need to turn a new leaf here. Remember that it is uh, in the mind that we, that we hold the most weight over our physical world. So I think in your emotional depths when it's reflected in the heart space here in this mind space it's because this might be new for you and you're just and you're developing and this is just a sense of development so I really want to if I didn't already say it just you know be gentle with yourself there could really be a shadow situation going on for you or amongst other people at this time but definitely something coming to light which is lovely so you can expect that and um, and it could be deep it could have a lot of emotional depth to it so 
I'm going to leave it there, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I love doing these readings for you guys. That is Collective April 2022 Energy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.